Hello, welcome to First Man Satellite World. Today, too, I want to educate you about uh, Redline S5000 and Redline S3000 and uh, Redline TV. You can see this Redline S5000 is not booting completely, it is stuck on boot. You see, it is uh, only the logo displays but cannot boot completely. Uh, today I want to teach you or educate you about how to solve this booting problem, simple as ABC. When your decoder happens like this, that it cannot boot, what you have to do is to look for the decoder software and download it and put the software, uh, you download it and you rename it recovery.bin. You rename it recovery.bin. Uh, please, when renaming it, don't delete the file extension, which is the dot .bin. Uh, you just uh, delete the rest and leave the dot .bin. That is the file extension. So you will only write uh, recovery and, and add it to the dot .bin. That's all. Then you put it on the... Uh, USB flash drive and that flash drive must be virus free. Make sure you are using a proper USB flash drive. Uh, that is not a virus affected. So, uh, putting the uh, decoder software which you have renamed recovery.bin uh, on the USB flash drive, you just insert it in the decoder's uh, USB port. So I'm coming to show you, you see, uh, here is the decoder's USB port. One is at the back and one is here. You just insert it here. So I'm coming to insert it for you to see. But it is better you put the decoder off. So I'm coming to put it off and do that. You can see now the decoder is off and I have inserted my USB flash drive, uh, which, uh, contains the software recovery.bin so now I'm come to turn the decoder on and see what will happen now you see I've turned it on and you can see there's a reading on the screen are you sure to upgrade recovery.rev yes that press ok no press exit uh, start upgrading. You can see it is upgrading and you can see it from the LED menu itself. You can see it. Yes. You have to allow it to complete. You have to allow it to complete. Immediately it completes. Then uh, you are done. The recorder now can boot successfully. So I'm waiting for it. Patiently waiting for it to finish reading. Very soon it will finish very soon so this is how to solve a booting problem of a red line s5 yeah it is done so you can see it is written upgrade finished plug out usb reboot so i'm coming to do exactly so it's better you put it off and then plug out the usb flash drive and turn on so i'm coming to do that and if you look at the decoder's led menu you can see it is written end it is telling you that the uh, operation is successful so now you can uh, plug out the usb and turn it on again now i've plugged out my usb and turn it on again let's see whether it will now boot successfully or not let's see let's see whether it will now boot successfully or not you can see now yes it is reading zero zero can see it this is how to solve a booting problem of red line s5000 red line s3000 and red line tv if you are if maybe if you have bought a red line satellite tv inbuilt tv and it also happens like this is the same method you have to rename the software to the recovery.bin so 
This is how to solve it. Thank you and welcome to First Man's Satellite World. Thank you once again.